Well, today's the big day. I have to put my money where my mouth is. Let's get started. Hi guys, welcome back. Gorgeous day today. Barely a cloud in the sky. Good day to do some work. I'm gonna get it done today. Got my bucket, bunch of buckets, sprayer. Look at the pots, fingers are growing. Replace the mat with the mat in the front. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do this today. Trust me. All right, let's do some sweeping. You know, I cleared the area pretty well. Shouldn't be that much dirt. Getting ahead of myself. I skipped a step again. Should have got the wire brush here and brushed some of the cracks just so that the concrete repair stuff can bond a little better. Messed up. So you shouldn't sweep before this step. You see all this stuff that's coming up? This is what you want to get up. Oh yeah. See if I had a better pressure washer, none of this would be much of an issue. So I'll do my best in working around all this stuff. I won't fill this area in. I don't think there's any need to. The cracks, of course, that area I will fill in. Looks like an old stump right here. Just crossing the T's, dotting the I's. You know, the more I sweep or use this blower, the better chance I have on that concrete bonding with this slab the way I would like it to. So there's nothing wrong with putting in this extra effort. So up first, let's try the Quick Creek Concrete Crack Repair. Just gonna use it for the small cracks. Just the small cracks, folks. DIYers, first timers, beginners, amateurs, whatever you're calling yourself these days, this is real easy to use. Don't be intimidated by it. Go to my front yard playlist from this season and you'll see what I did in regards to this. You can even take your finger to smooth it out. No big deal. Trust me. I'll get that later. Oh yeah, just take your fingers just like this. Not a problem whatsoever. So guys, I'd like you to go to my front yard playlist and take a look at the concrete resurface videos that I did. You'll see how using a sponge really helps. Smooths out the concrete a whole lot better. It's even easier to work with. You'll be surprised. Take the sponge like this, damp it, and just move this stuff out like this. Oh yeah, it's great. But if you like, stick around for this. So what do we have here? Quick Creek vinyl repair patcher. Got a bucket. I'll be using the bucket, pouring some water in it with the vinyl. And you'll figure out how to work with this stuff. This is a little too soupy for me. So I want it to be like an oatmeal texture, something like that. So I need to add a little more vinyl to this. You'll see. As you can see, I added a little more. Now I have the consistency that I was looking for. So once you do a few of these jobs, you'll get the hang of it. Nothing to be intimidated about. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it too. So whatever you're working on, make sure you spray it with a light mist of water. That way the concrete can bond with whatever surface you'll be repairing. Please keep in mind, when you're filling in the cracks, you don't have to be perfect. That sponge will help you along the way, and you'll get the results that you're looking for. Trust me. What do we have here? This has been sitting around for a couple years. I'm going to use it for this concrete repair job. I did another walkthrough and found some quarter size holes, so I filled them in. Might as well. Do the best you can and live with the results. But they were all over. So I took care of it. I'm sure we're almost there. Let's take a look at this hole. There's that stump. Remember how I looked? So this stuff is drying. It's drying, drying, drying. Okay. So we got a little ways to go. But we're getting it done. Found a few more of those holes. There's nothing wrong with filling them in. Work smart, not hard. Measure twice, cut once. Okay, 
one last sweep, so to speak. Blow any dirt or dust out the way. Let's see. Drying well up over here. Got a ways to go. So I think we can wait on this. I want it done right. Okay. Be right back. Let's take a look at the stars of the show. Rigid, the paddle, the broom, squeegee, buckets. I got everything. Everything you need. Water. I use this in the front yard for my steps. It's great. Dry, slow. Great for beginners. More buckets, trowels, whatever you need. I got it. Sponges. Oh, yeah. Whatever you need. Sprayer, broom, everything. Trust me. I'm getting it done, guys. Again, wet the surface as you go. Pour the stuff out the bucket. Use a squeegee. There's nothing really to it. Do the best you can. Keep a steady hand. Let's wrap it up. I tried to broom it as I was resurfacing. Didn't really like the broom. I think the smaller broom is a lot better. That's just my opinion. But anyway, looks good. I think a second layer will do. You know the motto. Take care of your families. Take care of your bodies. Take care of your lawns too. Bye.